Welcome to XBuild. Whether you're at your desk or on the go, submitting a new job is fast and easy. Right now, you're looking at the XBuild dashboard. If this is your first time here, your dashboard might look a little empty, but that's totally normal. Your jobs will start showing up here once you submit them. So let's get right to it. To submit a job, just click the new job button. And remember, XBuild works just as smoothly on mobile. So whether you're in the office or out in the field, you can access it from any device. Now that we've started a new job, you have two ways to submit your details. You can either upload an existing loss summary provided by the insurance company, or you can enter all the details manually. For this tutorial, we're going to upload a loss summary. This is the fastest way to get started since XBuild will automatically read the document and pull in the key details for you. Let's go ahead and upload our file now. Once you've uploaded the loss summary, XBuild's AI gets to work, scanning the document and pulling in all the important details for you to review. First, you'll see the homeowner's information and the building codes that apply to this job's location. This ensures that everything aligns with local regulations. Next, we have the claim details. XBuild automatically detects the insurance carrier, the date of loss, and the estimating software used, whether it's Xactimate or Symbility. It also identifies the price list that was used in the original estimate. You'll also see a breakdown of the structures and trades included in the loss summary, so you know exactly what's covered. And finally, XBuild pulls in the current total RCV, or replacement cost value, of the claim, giving you a clear starting point before making any adjustments. Now that we have all the key details in place, let's move on to the next step. Now we're on the verification page. This is where you can review and adjust key details before moving forward. If you uploaded a loss summary, XBuild has already pre-filled the homeowner's information. You can double check that everything looks good and make any edits if needed. This is also where you can add the homeowner's email address if you'd like. For those using a CRM that's integrated with XBuild, you'll see an option to attach a CRM link to this job. This keeps everything connected and easy to track. You can also select a representative from your team. This could be the person managing the claim, handling the supplementing, or overseeing production. And finally, if you want to, you can enter the date you inspected the property. This can help with the documentation and claim tracking. Once everything looks good, it's time to move on to the next step. Now let's verify the claim information. Just like before, XBuild has automatically pulled in these details from the loss summary you uploaded. First up, we have the date of loss. This is the date the damage occurred, which is important for claim processing. Next, we have the type of loss, whether it was hail, wind, or another type of event. If needed, you can adjust this to make sure it matches the claim. You'll also see the claim number and insurance company listed here. If anything needs to be updated, you can make those changes now. Now, if you're submitting a job before a claim has been filed, you can leave these fields blank. They're completely optional when requesting a brand new estimate from scratch. Once everything looks good, we're ready for the next step. Now let's talk measurements. For the fastest turnaround times, you can upload your own PDF measurement reports right here. XBuild's AI can read and process all major measurement reports, including EagleView, RoofScope, RoofR, GAF QuickSquares, Hover, and more. Just upload your file and we'll take it from there. But if you don't have a measurement report, no problem. Just select no and we'll automatically order an EagleView measurement report for you. Keep in mind, the cost of the EagleView report will be added to your final total. The price can vary depending on the size of the property and the type of report needed. Since measurements are required to create an XBuild report, make sure to either upload your own or let us order one for you. Once you've made your choice, it's time to move on. Once again, XBuild's AI gets to work, this time scanning your measurement report in real time and pulling in key details for a quick overview. You'll see a breakdown of the measurements, including structure dimensions, roof facets, slopes, and any other relevant details from your report. This gives us a solid starting point and ensures accuracy before moving forward with the estimate. Now that we've got the measurements process, let's move on to the next step. Next up, how will you be providing photos? There are four different ways to do this, so you can choose what works best for you. You can paste a company cam link if you're already using company cam for job site photos. You can also drop in a Google Drive link if that's where your images are stored. Or you can simply upload your photos directly to XBuild right here. Now, if you don't have photos or prefer not to include them, you can still request an estimate without them. But keep in mind, without photos, the AI has a harder time writing an accurate estimate. While it's an option, we highly recommend including photos whenever possible to get the best results. Once you've added your photos or selected to proceed without them, it's time for the next step. Now it's time to finalize your estimate. This part of the process is broken down into structures and trades, making it easy to customize exactly what you need. 
Within each structure, you can choose which trades to include. Since we uploaded a loss summary earlier, the trades and structures from that document have already been applied. Here's where you make a key decision. Just click on a trade and tell us whether you want to supplement it or leave it as is. Choosing supplement means Expo will add additional line items that should have been included in the original estimate. Selecting leave as is means we'll copy the existing line items from the loss summary into your new estimate without any changes. You can also add additional trades to the estimate for the structure. Just keep in mind that trades beyond roofing, siding, and gutters may have additional charges, and you'll see the pricing clearly marked here. For some trades, Expo may request additional clarifications. While these details are optional, the more information you provide, the more accurate your estimate will be. And if your project involves multiple structures, like a detached garage, shed, or another building, you can easily add them here and assign trades to each one. Once you've finalized your selections, we're ready to move to the last step. Now we're at the final step, reviewing your cart. This page gives you a final look at your job details before moving to checkout. First, you'll see a summary of the structures and trades included in this estimate. This is your chance to make sure everything you need is selected. Next, we have your measurement selection. If you uploaded a measurement report, it will show here. If you selected for us to order an Eagle View report, you'll see that noted as well. Then you'll confirm the type of estimate you need, Xactimate or Simbility. If you've selected Simbility, an additional charge will apply, which you'll see on the next page during checkout. Next, you'll choose whether you want us to generate just the estimate report, or if you'd like us to handle the supplementing work for you as well. If you selected supplementing, XBuild will work to get additional items approved with the insurance carrier. The charge for this is 10% of approved new money, not the total claim, just the additional approved amount. At the bottom, you have the option to add special notes about the job. If there's anything specific our team should know before processing your estimate, this is the place to include it. Need to make a change? No problem. You can go back to any section of the process by selecting it from the workflow menu on the left. None of your data will be lost, so you can update anything before moving forward. Once you reviewed everything and it looks good, click Go to Checkout. On the next page, you'll see a detailed breakdown of the pricing before you submit your job. Before you submit your job, here's one last thing to remember. Your first job comes with a credit. This credit covers the standard report generation fee, so you won't be charged for that. However, if you selected additional trades, measurement services, or supplementing, those costs will be reflected here. A credit card is required when submitting your first job, but don't worry, it's only used for any additional services or supplementing charges. If your job falls within the standard report, the credit covers it completely. Once everything looks good, just click Place Order, and that's it. Expo will take care of the rest, and we'll get started on your estimate right away. After submitting your first job, you'll also receive an email from your dedicated account manager. If you have any questions or need help with anything, they'll be your go-to contact to ensure you get the most out of XBuild. Thanks for trusting XBuild. We're excited to help you streamline your estimating process. If you have any questions, our support team is always here to help.